So what is your company's unique selling point? Uh, our cross-platform data and um, search engine of influencers globally. Okay. So what would you say the one main target customer is for your business or company? Anyone who really wants to understand who they're actually working with in the influencer space from an audience perspective. So what would you say the most market pressure point is coming from? Um, I think the fact that people get caught up in vanity metrics and how many followers someone has mm -hmm. and, um, and are upset with the fact that their campaign or posting didn't perform as well as they did and inevitably would have makes them realize, wait a second, I didn't even understand the audience of that said influencer. And, you know, great mainstream example is Kate Upton, right? Um, face of Bobby Brown Cosmetics for many years, but if you look at her audience, it's all men. And I doubt they're telling their wives to go buy Bobby Brown, nor do I think they're buying Bobby Brown because Kate's the face of it. But now to use her as the face of Game of War, which was brilliant, geared towards men, that makes a lot of sense. Great point. You said that in there. I was like, yes. Um, okay, so why would you, what's the number one reason influencer marketing is growing so rapidly? I believe that, you know, for many years, there were only so many gatekeepers to accessing people who are influential, you know, for, you know, for many years, people were only calling for the Brad Pitts and the George Clooney's of the world um, because they were the only people that actually had measurable uh, awareness because of TVs and moving and mainstream media. But that being said, social media has allowed for people to take mainstream and make it their own and connect with people globally, which now creates a level playing field for more options. And I think that's where the real need is. You know, I can't afford a George Clooney, I can't afford a Brad Pitt, I can't afford a Kate Upton, but I still want to market and I still want to reach the audience that I know will have an affinity for what I'm advocating. Absolutely. Okay, so if you could be an influencer, what would your specialty be? Specialty B would probably be... Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a thespian of entertainment and marketing. I, I really, uh, you know, people like to put, you know, names like expert. I, I would like to say I'm a perpetual student influencer of entertainment marketing and influencer marketing. It's always changing. It's always growing. Um, and I think that that's something that I would focus on and preaching and helping people educate on how this actually works, what they should know, and how to make sure that they're not taken advantage of.